short algo here. It is February 9th, 2021, and we are going to be looking at the 15 minutes chart of stock ticker HTBX, that's Heat Biologics. Before we jump into that particular security, we're going to go through some of the trades that we executed over the past 24 hours. That included OCGN. We made a short squeeze call at $8, and we said that it was going to pass the $10 mark based off of the signals. It did. It ended up running to $13, $14, I believe. And then we made a call that it was um, overbought, overextended, and uh, we also saw the short signal. So we shorted it down and it dropped another 15.81%. Uh, LAIX, uh, we saw the short signal for that and posted it and ended up dropping 28.49%. HTPX, we also made a short squeeze alert that jumped up 22% and then it gave it right back. So we made a call at um, when it was 22% up and it dropped 22% as well. Then AAME, we saw the short signal for that and posted it. It dropped 19.65%. BSQR, we saw a pattern of ultra bull signals, and that gives you an, an insight into how the market makers are trading. That ended up squeezing up 88.99%. And then finally, CCNC, where we made a, a bearish call uh, based off of the signal, and it dropped 15.5%. 92%. Now let's get into the chart. So here you can see uh, HTBX and the 15 minute chart. Before we actually trade this, what we like to do is we like to get a better idea of do these particular securities have a pattern, right? And what we try and find is that you'd modify these signals until you find a buy and a short signal, uh, specifically where the buy signal is as close to the bottom and the short signal is on top. And you can look at our installation videos if you're interested in exploring this even further. But once you find a pattern, those patterns tend to repeat over and over again. And it really gives you an idea into how the market is interpreting this data and trading based off this data. And once you identify that pattern, it's very easy to enter and exit positions profitably um, with a significant anticipation. So looking at this particular trade, we're going to look in uh, in granularity where you can see this first buy signal that received. It was at a high of six dollars and nine cents, and if you wrote it up, you could have gone all the way up to six dollars and eighty five cents. Then we got a short signal where it was at a high of six fifty, low of six thirty six, and it didn't drop that low, but it dropped to six thirty one. That's a nice uh, half a percent point. Then we received the buy signal. That was at a high of $6.83, and it drove all the way up to $7.66. Then we got a short signal, low of $6.95, all the way down to $6.77. We saw this uh, ultra bull signal, which fired at a high of $8.04, and it drove all the way to $8.74. And then we got a short signal, which drove from $7.94 all the way down to a low of $7.52. And again, we just kept trading up and down based off of the signals. When, we, um, when we're recommending to customers on how to use a specific application, um, your goal should be to enter with bracket orders, uh, go into a trade and secure your profit. So whether your goal be 1%, 2%, or even more aggressive goals than that, you would enter with a buy signal. So uh, the buy is a bullish movement. You secure your profits, and then you wait for the next signal, as, a, as an example, the short, and then you short it, and you write this down for 2%, and you secure profits. But the idea is that if you look at this over the course of a few days, or if you want to look at a more aggressive timeline, um, just on this, on this particular security over the course of two weeks, you could have secured, uh, let's say, if you did 2% two, you know, trades on each one, and a stop loss of 1%, it would have been 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18% profit. And let's say you would have lost on maybe one of those trades, right? Um, that would have still secured you uh, 12 to 14% profit. So um, again, it's just a very consistent way of trading. 
But the biggest thing I wanted to show you is that if we, uh, we've identified the pattern of the buy and the short signals, but if you move into today, you can actually see where we received our short signal and it's great for identifying overextended securities where the high was $18.15 and then it ended up dropping all the way down to a low of $11.51. So, um, so that it's very nice to, to, to be able to see those types of patterns. Um, and this is, these are our settings for, uh, for this particular security. Thank you very much for watching the technical video. Yeah, if you're interested in improving your overall trading strategy, we recommend you start a seven day free trial with Short Algo. This tool is designed to help traders easily identify buy and short opportunities across securities listed across all major exchanges. Uh, some examples include the New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, OTC, CBOE, and it's also available for Forex and cryptocurrency trading now. Start a seven day free trial at shortalgo.com.